Man, I'm gonna kind of miss this place. What do you mean by that? Hey, we gotta talk real quick, but how's it going, man? You asked me like, all right, you asked me a question and then immediately followed up with, hey, let's talk about something else. Yeah, I don't really care. Um, it's not that important. You mother. If you're, if, if you're gonna move, you're gonna move. Look, this is more important than that. Moon's kind of messed up. He came to my house. Oh, I know. Okay, great. So you know, but you know what he's, what, what he's doing or, or you need, need that information too? Uh, Earth said he's gonna kill Blood Moon or kill somebody to try and get Solar back. I'm a bit concerned about that because when my when I talk to him, I, I, I can't step in here and, and say everything I know, or I can't say I know everything. That's my correct terminology there. He seemingly wants to do this for completely selfish reasons. It's not for solar. It's not for sun or earth or anything. The more I talk to him and he even admitted it at some point, it's just selfish. He's doing it for himself. That's a bad, that's a bad thing to happen to somebody that is trying to justify it as doing the good thing for everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to keep, I've been uh, down that same path. You realize that, right? I left, I isolated myself. I threw FC away because I thought it would be the best thing for everybody. It, it obviously wasn't. It was selfish. Yeah. Pretty selfish. I mean, uh, dude, I I'll be honest. I don't know what you want me to do. Earth's, uh, not feeling the best after that little, I guess, intervention. I don't know the whole details behind that. He just showed up to my 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 new apartment. How? He doesn't know where you live. <sighs> I, I have an idea as to why. He didn't seem to want to be there at the start. I'm getting the feeling that maybe somebody brought him there to oh, have talk to me. I think I know who it might have been because the only other person besides you and FC and Benoit Blanc who's <sighs> been there is well, Puppet. So the Puppet's been there. Yeah, no, look, it's whatever. Moon is looking for Blood Moon. He's going to kill him. He's going to disassemble him. He's going to take his energy from this dimension and Try reconstruct solars using it. Yes, and he says he, he, he has no idea if it's going to work or not. It's He said that himself. He said it. Oh, He's not even sure it's going to work. He's going to try it anyway. And the thing I have a problem with, Monty, I think more than anything else when it comes to this, is that he said the things that could happen if it goes wrong and they kind of scare me a little bit because the astrals whoever they might be whoever they are might get mad at him i mean you were talking about replacing dimensional energy it's just uh that's not gonna just affect oh no it's gonna be a lot it's a big gamble he doesn't care he knows we need to stop him crap dude i'm in the middle of dealing with a ball in of energy in my lab yeah if the astrals found that they'd be really upset if the astrals found fc and what he can do they might even be more upset and I, lunar <sighs> if we should forget that they're already mad at him aren't they or something no one keeps me into the touch here i i, I think the difference is that we stopped the stitch race and we had no idea where to put that stuff at it's contained so i might be fine in that regard i don't want to use it or anything like that I, <laughs> but you're right about moon that's a whole different situation. I don't know what to do with that, man. We gotta find Blood Moon, we gotta kill him. I don't just mean like a little bit and bury the body. I mean, we need to erase him before uh, Moon does something stupid. You remember when Eclipse died? Not really. Well, Lunar destroyed him, broke him like practically uh, atom by atom. I think it was more like electrocuting him, break him down like that, but uh, he came back a couple days later. So, right now, I'm thinking there might be backups of Blood Moon, too. From who? I don't know. From Ruin. Ruin might have made backups just in case. Same way you did with Eclipse. So there's no way to just remove him from existence? If you if you remove him from existence, I'm not sure what'll happen. We can't, like, Lord Beerus Hakai him or something? Dude. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I think that only destroys the one thing. I think we should just destroy all of them. Rest of them. No, that's my... I, that's my yeah we need to destroy all traces of that thing it needs yeah. to go before moon gets a hold of it and does something stupid even if yeah. it works this is not the path he needs to go down my only fear is that if it's not blood moon what is he going to do next he seemed like it was a pride thing he seemed like he was just prideful of the fact that he was going to do it himself but yeah but what's next after blood moon like who is he going to try to do it to next is it going to be a person or just a bunch of animals or I mean, look, my, we gotta stop him. 
I'm just that's agreeing. It. Man, that's it, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. You talk to the sun? No. We ain't talked in a bit. Right. Well, it's been like a day, so I haven't talked to him at all, no. Right. Okay. Oof. The only thing I can think of is we asked Puppet to just track him down. Puppet doesn't want to kill him. Besides, it'd probably up to me to kill him anyways. Um, Dude, I... Just being honest. We need something to, to get this ball rolling because it, I... <sighs> The, the reason why he's doing this is what's getting me. It's because he wants to listen to the words of his old self. Like he's that person still. Like he wants to be that person again. But he has no idea what that person actually entails, does he? Yeah. Like genuinely? He's yeah, trying to yeah. empathize with a part of himself that isn't even real anymore. I don't know exactly as kind or sane, really. The more I tried to talk to him, the more stubborn he got about it. He's so locked in his own ways he refuses to see any outside perspective it's called being stubborn at least i got him to admit that he was selfish that's that's the one thing i got him to do before he left my house but right. on good terms at least it gave him something to think about but it didn't seem to matter because at the end of the day he's still gonna go through with it yeah well if you got your mind set on something it's likely not to change it oh, then we gotta change his mind for him i'm going inside he ain't gonna like that i don't care if we're gonna do this, we need to talk to Sun. Hey, and... I have no part in this. I can't do anything about this at all. Well, then if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna need to talk to Sun and maybe Puppet. If 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 Puppet even wants to do it, the guy said he didn't want to after. Uh... If I can't help, let me know. But I, I I don't know what I can or can't do with this. I can talk to him again, but that's about it. Talking might not you know, be mean too much right now it got somewhere i mean i got somewhere with him but i would need more hours i need, i would need hours and a lot more knowledge than i have now to to convince him otherwise probably, probably. Well, the guy should have kept going to therapy yeah well i heard Earth stop doing that too so because of him yep yeah i know Let's go okay nah homeboy's right just go eat your homeboy what? Yeah, homeboy's right. My homeboy? Yeah, I kill blood, man. Mother f are you watching me like all the time? What? <sighs> Once you got this sight, it doesn't really go away. So uh, yeah, I am. Um, I'm looking for, for I, I, I can get to blood moon, but that's not the problem now, is it? I could kill blood moon, but that uh doesn't mean I can tear him apart out and by Adam. So you just like watch us the entire time? I'm just, just curious. Just want to go back to that real quick. Yes, a little bit. Not really. Not all the time. I just kind of have to. It's kind of the way things work. You're a very weird stalker, puppet. Not really a stalker. Again, kind of uh -huh. just my job. Kind of what I was made for. Better job than golden. What I was made into. Pretty much. Anyway, we gotta kill Blood Moon. Yep. I'd rather not. But I want him dead regardless. But if we kill him, we have to make sure he's gone, gone. Yeah, you didn't want to help with that, did you? No, I could. Now you didn't want to. Whatever that whole dark pizza crap said. Out of respect for the people that taught me everything, just stay out of this as much as I possibly can. And just let you guys deal with it. It's a bit selfish. Selfish. I I, I, I didn't mean nothing by that. I, I just I just wanted to say, I, I you don't want to help? I'm helping you right now. Look. I can give you a bit of a idea of where Blood Moon is. He's looking, by the way, for ways to get back at you. Uh, so there's that. If I have to step in, I will. All right. So that's a that's something. Cool. Thank you. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Oh, Fasty's right. We need to kill him. We need to get rid of him. We need to stop Moon from getting to him because if we if 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 he does, I don't know what's going to happen next. We can't see the future. But I'm not going to let Moon just sit there and, and tear his life apart. And do it for selfish reasons, mind you. He's not doing this for anybody else. You heard that too? I heard everything. I put him at your house, dumbass. Oh. Right. Sure. Um, so you're the reason why I had to have that deep-ass convo with him. Yes. Yes, I am. Because it, it got somewhere, right? We got something out of it. Motivations. Ideas. How he's really feeling. Not great motivations. It's not great, but it's we know more now than we did before, and it's because of you. So thank you for that. You are useful. 
Aw, uh, thanks. Suppose the point now is trying to figure out how to get him. Because, uh, if we just kill Blood Moon, I don't think Moon is going to stop at that. No, mean to make sure he's gone, gone. No, I mean, Moon's not going to just stop at Blood Moon. He's probably going to go find something else. Who? Anyone. You think, man, that deranger is going to suddenly just stop when Blood Moon's gone? We can't just go killing people, even if they go deserve it. We can't just start hunting people down like we're a list. We're not hunting down Moon. We're not going to hang him up or anything like that. No, we just I'm, need to I'm stop not, him. I'm not saying we're going to get Moon. I'm saying we, we kill Blood Moon. And then Moon gets a new target. And we kill that one too. Are we really any better at that point? He's right. We need to stop Moon and convince him that this is not the right path. I'm going to have to talk to Sun. There needs to be something that'll bring him back out of this but we have to make sure he doesn't get to, like either way we're now racing him to get to blood moon i'll be very honest with you puppet there is nothing stopping that man i've known him for years when he's has his mind on something hell regardless if it's a new or old one or whatever it ain't gonna stop until he gets it all right so i just watch him and then stop him every time what happens when I stop him and the next time he does it? We'll figure it out right now, puppet. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You're going to have to because I can't keep doing this. I'm aware. <sighs> so, you did good talking to him. I uh, got through to him a little bit. Let's use that angle a bit more. Get him in the same room again. I don't know how, I don't know where, but we're going to have to. What am I, a therapist now? Like, seriously? Yeah. Kinda. You're his rubber duck. Talks to you and he might come to the right conclusion. Yeah, let's just keep our voice down or it's still upstairs. <sighs> All right, fine. So he needs to come to the same conclusion we are right now of his own volition. That's a bad idea. That's not gonna be easy. From what he doesn't want to see a different POV. He doesn't From what want Foxy told me, the guy's really set on his ways, puppet. Yeah, he had excuses. He had excuses, and those excuses flew out the window when I caught him out on him multiple times. He's selfish. He said so himself. He doesn't care. He realizes this doesn't make Earth or Lunar or Sun happy, which was his entire purpose of doing this in the first place, apparently, according to him. No, I got that too. And so if he's not doing it for them, he's doing it for himself, which means that he truly doesn't have a way out of this besides maybe hurting somebody close to him and snapping out of it. Ooh. That's dark. What? I'm just saying, like, if he, like, saw that he, like, you know, hurt someone's feelings really badly, like, permanently, no, nah, he wouldn't care. He already did. He hurt Earth's feelings. He hurt some feelings. They don't... No, he needs to actually hurt them. Th that's not gonna happen, dude. Orchestrating that would be... I've done it before. What? What? When we, uh... When we were before? Yeah. Well, we weren't exactly good people before Foxy. No, I kind of got that. My point is, we're good people now. It doesn't really matter. Look, my point is, Monty, if we set it up where he hurts somebody, like, really, genuinely puts somebody in danger, are we doing the right thing? thing boy's right stop calling me homeboy you stupid twink i swear to god not really a twink especially in their form you right raggedy now. ass mother you just say to me called you a twink and you're not even in your uh male form yet excuse me yeah, i overreacted my bad my bad homeboy. all right look i'm gonna That's talk to son maybe there's something else we can do there because maybe son has some ideas right i'll go with you you coming with me? Yes. Fine. If you can find out where Blood Moon is at all, and you can tell me if you can tell me anything, I would appreciate it. If not, I know where he don't is. worry about it. I'm not telling you right now. Cool. He's close. Watch out. He's not like across the street, is he? No. I think she would tell us if they were across the street. I'm just going to put it out there. Right. Sorry, puppet. See you around. It's anime. Okay. You know this house is a piece of crap? Son! Dude, that is the weirdest sound, I swear to God. 
Oh, my voice box, you like it? Watch this, let's do it again. But... Bruh. Call my son that, you know. Hey! Hey! We gotta so, talk. Uh, knocking on my door with your voice, huh? We gotta talk, come I, on. I, you could just walk in, I guess. Well, yeah, I walk in. Uh, hi, guys. <sighs> we're gonna kill you. We wanna start with this. No, we're not. We're not here to act. No, we're not here to kill you. I'm thought I would lighten the mood. That's a that's yeah, a uh, mood lighter. That's not that's not a, that's not a mood lighter at all, bud. Son, um, we need to uh, talk about Moon. Oh my god! I know, I know. No, you don't know. He came to my house today. I was there when he was with Earth. I know, but there's some things you should know. Because my what? conversation with him went a little bit weird. Weird. And Puppet brought him there for a reason. Um, I think I know what the reason is. Moon started off by saying he's doing this for you. No, he's not. And for Solar. No, and he's for not. Earth. And you knew that because you're his brother. He's doing it. He admitted it to me for completely selfish reasons. He doesn't care. It's, it's, it's almost a point of pride for him. And nothing I can say or do is going to make him stop. But I, I kind of had an idea. And I want to run it by you. What? He hurt you emotionally. Earth emotionally. Yeah. Everybody close to him emotionally by, by doing what he's doing. And that didn't make him stop. Because obviously that, that's not enough. But I do think there is a way for us to uh, kind of stop him. Stop him. And it's going to involve something a little bit weird that you have to agree to. I already have something weird kind of coming up. What's the idea? Well, he did the same to me when I went through a phase, I guess. Mm hmm. He uh, trapped me in a box, really. And who's helping you with this? Uh, the Besides yourself? The computer. I have the one Jack. that let my son get kidnapped three times. He, he might not be good at security, but he's good at building things. Okay. Son, we have a much simpler solution. We uh -huh. track down Blood Moon. We get there before Moon does. And Moon's actions hurt one of you. Not emotionally, but uh, more than that. I don't know. You don't. That's not easy to say, is it? I mean, we're not asking you to put yourself out there, but someone's going to get hurt. I know someone's going to get hurt. I, I wouldn't be enough. I don't think he would care if I got hurt as a result. Maybe he would. We're not that close of friends, though. The next closest person besides... If we go up the rung, ladder-wise, from me, the next rung is maybe you. Yeah, maybe. Like, Probably at the bottom of that list. That That's the... You're just above Roxanne, I can say that. Uh, yeah. That's the soonest person in our immediate circle that I think if Moon hurt Monty, he might pause for a moment and give us a moment to talk to him and get him out of this, wherever he's in. After that, it's Lunar, okay. Earth, and you. And I don't want to put either of you in danger, but we got to do something. I'll be honest. The whole box idea might contain him, but I don't know how long it would. He's arguably the smartest guy on the planet, right? Yeah, but even he can't work with nothing. I wouldn't put it past them to have ways. Look. I only broke out because I... We can trust the box, or we can try to just do some drastic measures that might just stop him. The point is, right now, is that we're looking at a race to Blood Moon regardless. We need to get to him first and get rid of him. I don't know how this, this is. Hey, 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 hey. We have to do it one way or another. Blood Moon's gonna go. He's gonna try to kill me. Probably hurt Earth or worse, someone else. He might go after me to get close to you. One of the other. son to get close to me to get close to you. Blood going to go after us one way or another because I killed his brother, supposedly. He just wants revenge on something that's... He wants to kill something. That's all he ever wants. Uh -huh. He's nothing special. So regardless, he's dying one way or another, but I guess Moon's still the concern. I brought it up with Puppet, but I don't know if Moon would stop if Blood just died. Hell, he might go after the other animatronics, Roxanne, Ground Clam, Rock Freddy. Doesn't interact with those guys much. At, at, at that point, we're looking at possibly having to get rid of Moon. That's not... 
Can Sorry you? to say it, but if your if your brother goes off the deep end and tries to kill somebody else, it's not a bad person. We're looking at territory here, so we need to find some, somebody to snap him out of it. The box might not do it. He needs to make the decision on his own. He's that stubborn. You know that. Real stubborn. Son, I know you don't want to talk about it, but like, you know what he would do if he had to make a choice, right? Between Solar and somebody else that we know and your little family. Who would he choose? He's just saying it. It's neither between Roxanne or Freddy. Which one? The old one. The old model one. Dude. I think Papa heard that. I'll be honest, I don't think Papa's gonna do anything about it like that. Oh, I think Puppet would do something about that. We will come to that point when we get there. For now, I think you're right about one thing. That little holding cell, we should probably keep Moon imprisoned at a moment until we can break his psyche back to normal, I guess. To break his psyche before that. He needs to think on his actions when he's in there. Right. We can't just hold him and let him sit there and stew. Okay. That's how Blood Moon got to the way he is now. We need to make him understand. He had to choose between our little circle and somebody else. He's choosing somebody else to kill. Right. I mean, like, if he has to save one of us, aka Solar here, he wouldn't care at a certain point, probably. I like to think maybe he has that sanity still, but we can't take the risk. Guys, I want you to get out of my house right now, please. I'm telling you. Think about it. I will. I just don't want to lose him again. I'm doing this. I ain't going to be a part of it, but you got to. He's doing this to get Solar back and Dove. Nothing else matters anymore. That's it. Nothing else matters in his mind. See you, son. Hey, Foxy, maybe not the best idea to tell him we might need to kill Moon. I'm just going to put it out there. He he, he knew it already. <clears throat> Doesn't really help our situation, man. I didn't say we were going to have to kill him. You really I just it. said that if he goes after Freddy, he's going to die. You realize that, right? Yeah, I, I know. No one's going to stop him. It's not going to be me. It's not going to be you. It's not going to be Sun or Earth or Lunar who tries to stop him at that point. We all know what's going to happen. Yeah. You think the woman who's been spending the past three months trying to save her family, get back together with her son and do everything, is going to sit by while some dude with an ego kick tries to erase him for his friend? No, I know. I know. They're not going to sit back. They're smart. They'll let us try to handle it first. They're smart, but the moment he comes within five feet, five hundred feet, five thousand feet of Freddy, he's 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 a, he's a goner. Yeah. Look, I think I'm agreeing with Son a little bit. I don't know how we're exactly gonna try to make it plan it out like that, where he hurts Son or Earth or Lunar or something. Excuse you. What? You heard me. Me? Yes. Dude, I'll let him break my arm if he wants, but if he gets in the way of us killing Blood Moon, I don't know what'll happen. He's not gonna kill you. He's not on purpose. <sighs> we have to figure out how we can get him to... The, the... I got it. I got it. Just let me think. If we put Sun, Lunar, Earth, Jack, any of them in danger, he would go after us next, probably, at that point. You realize that? Yeah. It can't, it can't be them, unless they're in on it. Even then, he might not agree with that and just go after us anyway. Yeah, then we're back to square one. He wants an excuse to do this. We can't give it to him. He needs to realize his actions have consequences. <sighs> we're just real quiet here. Hey, Blood Moon needs to get to somebody. He's got to be me. He's got to be you. If he realizes that he couldn't do it in time, he his actions just caused even more. <sighs> Maybe it can be me. Nah, nah, you wouldn't matter as much to him. Sorry to say, but yeah. All right. What about everyone else. 
What Everyone mean? else is there to also to crime. What if you're there and Earth's there and Sun's there Dude. and Puppet's there and my Dude. son is there? I'll be real with you. If we try to confront him and he starts spouting up some bullshit. I'm going to start beating him up. Yeah, well, look, I'm just, I'm not bioorganic. You can just rebuild me. I'm going to start beating you up pretty soon if you keep that up. Bruh. Just get out of here. Mud. You have no idea how to start that thing, do you? I'll just call my neighbor and get a boat to my old house. So that, I don't that, really care. That's, your house is literally on the other side of the country. No, the, the other one. Remember the one that's I mean, that old, right across the water? Dude, that, that thing's sold. No, I didn't sell it. You didn't sell it? No. My God. Hold on. How would I? Just go home. All right, fine. See ya. Thank you.